Hey folks, I'm Aaron and welcome back to RBB. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any upcoming content. If you missed our individual videos on each of the holsters we've reviewed so far, we're going to recap them here, ranked in reverse order. A couple things to keep in mind though, this is not a paid promotion. I paid full price for each of these minimalist holsters featured here. Second, some of these holsters were not recommended at all, so them being mentioned here does not mean they are worth buying. And as stated before, each holster is judged on three factors. These are build quality, modularity and usefulness, and finally, value, or what you get for what it costs. So, here we go. Coming in at number six is the Advance Holsters Mini Concealment Holster. I wasn't shy about saying that the AH Mini Concealment Holster was poorly built. I spent most of the time in this featured video as an open letter to the manufacturer offering constructive improvements in what will hopefully someday be their 2.0 version of this holster. The only notable feature I found here was that this holster's ability to cant the belt clip was built into the holster and not just on the clip itself. Next up at number 5 is where I placed the Q-Series Stealth Holster. This was another holster that I could not recommend due to poor execution of the build. The contact points on the Q-Series Stealth Holster just didn't grip the holster with enough bite to hold onto the gun in all directions. However, there were two notable features on the Q-Series Stealth. First was the metal belt clip, which was one of the best on any holster reviewed and it did allow for slight height adjustment. Also, this holster, and most of the rest to be mentioned, came with cordage to use as a lanyard. However, in this holster the lanyard and belt clip could not be used at the same time. Rounding out the bottom three, and this is where debates may start to occur. Number four, I placed the Mission First Tactical Minimalist Holster. The MFT Minimalist was a holster that I recommended in its own feature video. Its classic style and versatility was my early favorite in this realm. The features that I liked most were its decent lock on the trigger guard and this holster's adaptability to aftermarket parts. In addition, the lanyard could be used at the same time as the belt clip if you chose to do so. However, it came provided with a claw that was not ambidextrous. This made the holster less useful for some. But overall, the MFT Minimalist holster was a solid little piece of kit. Taking the number 3 slot was the DeSantis Pegasus Slim Tuck holster. Now I could be criticized for not placing this holster higher on the list. The Slim Tuck was the only full wraparound minimalist holster on the list. It performed very well during testing and was even useful with just cordage. The belt clip was unique to this holster, as it has a static cog system that held it in place when canted. A major downside was that if you needed to switch the hardware over to the other side, there were quite a few small parts that needed to be transitioned in order to make it work. Overall, I did recommend the DeSantis Pegasus Slim Tuck as a minimalist holster. Heading toward the top slot, in number 2 was the Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 holster. The Vanguard 2 is solid. Some would argue it deserves the top slot, and they might be right, depending upon who's buying the beers. This is the smallest minimalist holster in the pile, and yet is more modular than most. The Vanguard 2 holster gets sold in three different versions, from straight trigger guard on a lanyard to full-blown minimalist. What I like best about this holster is both its modularity and adaptability to varied uses. It also pairs well with aftermarket parts. However, the downside for me was price. It shouldn't cost as much for what you get. But hey, no one is holding a gun to the consumer's head. You either think it's worth what they're asking, or you don't. Finally, in the number one position of RBB's Minimalist Holster Review Roundup is the Rounded Gear Trigger Guard Holster. The Rounded Gear really caught me off guard, as I had much lower expectations for this holster. The best feature to me was how tight this little holster locked up on the gun's trigger guard. I never once was concerned that the gun might inadvertently become detached from the holster. As mentioned during the review, having a holster with such a tight lockup requires that you draw the gun like you mean it, which is just fine by me. As well, for the price, this holster offered more features and possibilities than any other minimalist reviewed so far. This included a lanyard, a belt clip that was adjustable for cant, useful claws for both left and right hand, and even parts to convert it to a pocket holster. Compared to all of the other holsters reviewed, the rounded gear trigger guard holster showed that you can still buy a very modular holster at a very fair price. If you have any comments about the content in this video, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and catch you next time on Ranges, Backstops, and Berms.